of the year, bitch, I'm a future Hall of Famer You can see I came up, long time coming from a dude who never gave up You know another rapper come my heart, just be the name one Good morning guys just got this little guy on the fluke i've been out here for a little bit through the crankbait around for a little while with nothing second or third cast with the fluke smashed one man get this video going it's a day later since the last time you guys saw me and we're out here fishing again let's go there's a fish right over here by this tree i want to give him a chance to eat this fluke before i keep moving got him oh i missed him <sighs> missed him let's keep moving All right, we spent enough time here. Only one fish, time to make a move. I'll see you guys at the next spot. Just ate the tail off my Kitek on the first cast with the swim jig over here. Raced up to the new spot and got hit immediately. This is my paddle tail box. This is what I'm running. Yep. First cast with the swim jig, and that's what happened to my Kitek. Go. on the trench hog nice up there in the cover finally found a fish man that's a little nicer fish too he's fighting come on buddy nice definitely a nicer fish number two on the day been out here for a while struggling the Guggen Baits trench hog gets it done for me again, man. All right, actually, you know what? That's my first trench hog fish. Guggen Baits gets it done again. Usually I'm smacking them on the bandito bug. This fish ate a trench hog. 
official first trench hog fish right there guys all right there's a look at that fish right there guys nice healthy fish he smacked the trench hog too man that was a fun catch he was a fighter digging nice man fish number two been out here uh been out here struggling a little bit man first ever trench hog fish though happy to get that guy stoked let's put him back down there in the cover i'm gonna work all these trees now man let's go he was up in it ego buddy <sighs> all right man feels good to get that one that was a little bit nicer fish up in the trees on the trench hog let's go well guys i'm spot locked here 19 feet of water and i just had my first little bite in a couple hours there right here next to the boat on the trench hog let's see if i can get him man i missed him he pulled the tr trench oh. oh my gosh dude he's down there like i said guys first signs of life in a couple hours at least Come on, man. I had a bite on the trench hog, man. Oh my gosh. He's right here beside the boat. And I missed him again. That fish is eaten. He was do 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 do. I don't know what I don't know what kind of fish this is, man. To be honest with you, it didn't really feel like a bass just then. But he's like right here beside the boat, and he's hit the trench hog three times. I missed him all three times. Took long enough, but I finally got fish number three way down there. Hit it on the drop on the trench hog, man, from the Guggen squad. Dude, just a little dude. Letter dude, thank you so much. Oh man, I'm glad he hit it again, dude. So it gets deep right there. <laughs> and I was just letting it fall into that hole, and that's where that dude hit it. So let's see if he's got any friends, man. I'm grateful for that one. I was getting desperate. It, it like, I was hopping the trench hog along and all of a sudden it just fell off a cliff and just started going down, down, down. And that's where that fish was. It was sinking slow, sinking slow, sinking slow. And then all of a sudden I just saw the braid dart and that's when I set the hook. And as soon as, uh, as soon as that braid started moving, set the hook, fish was there. Yeah, it was falling down into a deep hole right here by the boat. So I got one fish early in the day on the fluke both the other two fish have come on the bottom so we're sticking with the trench hog man they're not up here uh, chasing bait today like they have been the past couple days i think these fish have pushed back out and they're in a little bit deeper water now so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and kick off the spot lock turn on the constant on and just roll this bank with the trench hog see what happens let's go Trench hog's looking a little beat up, but still good to go. I'm gonna keep fishing her, work my way into the cove here. Drink break. Catch up with you guys in a minute. Well, guys, it looks like my camera wasn't running. I just caught the fourth fish of the day on the fluke, nicest one of the day. I just looked down and realized the GoPro isn't, wasn't recording. I have no idea why. Just put a new battery in. Maybe I didn't hit record. Oh man, that was a good catch too. On the fluke up here shallow. I've been talking about it for a minute, but apparently you guys didn't hear any of that. So uh, yeah, it's been a tough day. Finally got the fourth one in the boat. Uh, he was up here shallow in about six or seven feet of water right there on that tree. Nicest fish of the day by far. I decided to abandon everything else that I was doing today and uh, just go back to the fluke. And sure enough, man, it was like two casts in, boom. Caught another fish. 
I was trying to figure out how to get my live wells filled. I couldn't uh, couldn't figure it out, but hey, I got it working. Got water in the live well, and you can see uh, Mr. Grenade down there. Come here, buddy. Oh. Boom. There he is, man. Fish number four. I'm going to get a picture with him. So I went ahead and threw him in the tank. Nice. All right. Boat is spot locked. All trucks doing work for me out here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get another fish. <sighs> On the fluke, man. Just had to go back to the fluke. That's all it took. Got the fourth one in the boat, man. Let's go. Maybe they're just slow starters today. You never know, man. It could have just been a quiet morning. I don't know. Fish seem to be scattered all over. I'm finding them deep, shallow, in cover, out of cover. I don't know. Hard to figure out a pattern right now, but we're going to keep fishing. That fish in the live well gives me all the hope that I need. Wind's picking up a little bit. Sometimes that can help with the moving bait action, so that might be a thing. <sighs> well, guys, there's one last look at that fourth fish. Made my day right there to get that guy. Let's let him go. It's been a struggle out here today, but I have had a good time. I've enjoyed my day. I've been out here for, uh, I don't know, almost the whole day and uh, caught several fish. Got a lot of experience with the hummingbird, all treks. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just spending time out here on the new boat, learning everything that I need to know. Having a good time, man. Even though we didn't have the best day of fishing, I still think it's going to make for a good video. Thank you guys so much for joining me out here on the water one more time. It just goes to show you, man, that it doesn't matter like how much fancy equipment you have or a boat or not a boat, fishing from the bank, fishing from a boat. It doesn't matter, man. You're not gonna go out there and light them up every time. Some days, you're gonna ride that struggle bus like I did today, and that's okay. We still had a great day out here fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I'll see you on the next video. A little bonus footage for anybody that made it this far into the video. Normally what I do when I get home, go through the boat, get everything out. There's all my used plastics. You always keep your used plastics, never throw them in the lake. There's the pile from my last trip over there. Anyways, man. I'm going to come out here and finish this later. Go inside and get a drink of water. See you guys on the next one.